Today we're going to be recreating this beach platter. I'm going to show you guys how to paint this. Um, so we will go over here to our blank piece of pottery. Uh, we're going to start by painting the rim and we're going to do that using pumpkin pie. So we're going to squirt a little bit out onto our palette. And it's just a one coat all the way around the rim. Now we have our one coat of paint on the rim. The reason that we're only painting with one coat is to get this strokey look here so you can really see all the brush strokes uh, that they used on this piece here. So we want to recreate that look and that's why we did only one coat of paint. Um, now we're going to work on the middle of the piece. We're going to take some masking tape and we're going to mask off a stripe in the center of the platter. Then we're going to use our uh, Nantucket blue here and paint the, uh, the outside of the stripe. Okay, so now we're going to paint one coat of Nantucket on the inside of the platter here. Once we have that painted, we'll just remove the tape, so we have a nice clean line. And now we'll add our last color into the center, which is something blue. see that my lines don't meet up here um, in the sample they don't either so it just has more of a, a sort of whimsical feel to it so the lines don't have to meet up perfectly so we're gonna let this dry for just a second and then we're gonna add the starfish to the middle of the plate okay after the background of our piece is dried we're gonna take a number two pencil and just sketch on the shapes of the stars um, I I just make mine little sticks just so that I kind of know where they're going to go. Okay, so I've got my stars on there and we're going to use cream puff and a medium round brush. I'm going to get it nice and loaded. You're going to start at the tips of the star and pull in towards the middle. We're going to want to add a couple coats to paint to this just because it's such a light color. So I'll just go back through and add a couple coats. Now that our stars have dried, we're going to add some detailing with the Pumpkin Pie Fun Rider. So we're going to add to the centers just some lines like this. In the center of each one. And then we're going to outline the whole thing with this color and then we'll do it with another color as well. A 
Okay, now while we're waiting for that detail to dry, we're going to add the scribble detail in the corners of the stars in the background. So we'll just take the fun writer and just scribble a little bit in some of the corners. Okay, with the Nantucket Blue Fun Rider, we're just gonna outline the inner rim of the platter here, so. We'll outline the inner rectangle also. Okay, so we're going to put the finishing touches on using a Happy Trails Fun Rider. We're just going to outline our stars. Okay, and still using the Happy Trails Fun Rider, we'll make some brown lines on the inside of the rim. And then we're going to do the same at the top. So these you'll want to come out a little farther. So we're going to put a solid brown rim on it as well. And we just want you to be able to see the lines. Okay, once our Fun Rider lines are on there, we're going to take the round edge of a sponge, press it up against the rim of the platter with some brown paint on it to give it a nice solid finished rim. You're going to want to do this about three times to make sure that it's solid. Okay, and here is our uh, recreated whimsical beach plate.